Okay, so holidays are here. That means old toys on their way out, new toys, home decor, all the gifts are coming in. And you may be looking for a place to <sighs> store all these things or figure out, should I keep them? Should I leave them? Luckily, Amber is here with all our organization needs from the organizers. Chicks, thank you so much for being here. So glad to be here, yes. Yeah, we're about to go through the same thing. I feel like every year, it's just like, okay, bring your stuff into the living room. If we can donate it, we can. not Everything else goes in the yeah. trash. But we can maybe salvage some things, and that's what you're going to tell us about. Absolutely. So organization really comes down to three basic components. We're going to declutter, we're going to organize, and then we're going to design. And okay. so today, we're going to talk about containers Ooh, okay. as it has to do with that first part of the process, which is decluttering. And so if you're gonna be decluttering, this is a perfect time of year to be doing yes. it, right? <laughs> um, and so I brought some little example containers here today. And this is to be the perpetual donation organization container. Okay. And so here's my suggestion, is to keep one of these in a prominent place in the house all year around. And then when someone grow, you know, is growing out of something, sure. you just say, take it to the donation container. So this might live in your okay. hall closet in the floor, but it has a permanent place in the home Everybody knows where it is, and when it gets full, that's your cue. It's time to just take it someplace great and drop it off. Got it. And then bring it back home to its permanent place to, to be filled up all over. Okay, again. I love that idea. Yep. yep, so this is one of my most important containers, and it doesn't actually matter what this is. Okay. But have you ever had this experience where you're like, today is the day, I'm gonna get organized, we're gonna tackle that garage, <laughs> and you get started, right? right? And what happens? You're in the garage, and you find something that actually goes in the office. So you run into the office, but then when you're in the office, you realize you need to mail something. And so you run out to the mailbox. <laughs> Distracted. And then you're at the mail, and you ping pong around, right? And you do this for hours. Yes. And then the end of the day comes, and you say, by golly, I never got the garage taken care of. I just ran around all day. Right. And I didn't actually accomplish anything. This love it. is one of the answers to that, and we call it the elsewhere basket. I love it. The elsewhere bin or basket. And the okay. whole concept is... When you're locked in and you are focused on a space that you're organizing or decluttering, if you find something that goes elsewhere, you don't leave the space you're working on, you put it right in there. the elsewhere basket. I love that. And this one right here, I love this one because this one's got toys in which I know parents we can all <laughs> jive with and are familiar yes. with. Really great way to store your little toys. And she's got yep. little Lincoln logs in here, which I absolutely right. love. Now we do use this tip in our household is to store toys, especially if it's like in a bulky kind of box. Mm -hmm. This is a great way to store yeah. um, little toys like this. Definitely. So my big here, my big tip here is actually about the size of the box and something that I call a limiting factor. Okay. So if you have an item that you really are liking, maybe it's DVDs, maybe it's socks, maybe it's Lincoln Logs, figure out what size container you want to have for it because the question when you're decluttering, it you don't want it to be punitive. You don't sure. want to say, how much of this do I have to right. get rid of? Right. You want to rephrase that and say, how much of this do I need to keep to right. be happy and functional? Ooh. If it fits in this box, that. it gets to stay. I love that. If it doesn't fit, the limiting factor kicks in and you say, okay, something's got to go so that it can stay that. in the container. More tips on our website.